I like Isekai. I know what you think. Isekai. Start throwing up in your mouth. Why am I saying this? Well, I was recently watching Overlord, and I was. I still love Overlord. Madhouse, give me season four, please, please. I need it. I need it now. Uh, but I was watching it, and I realized how much people don't. Like, how much flack this uh, genre gets because. Because it's been meme to death. This genre has been meme to death. You know, the countless memes of, oh, Isekai. There's like four of them every year. And honestly, yes, there are. <laughs> there are many, many Isekai. Yes, there are many, many Isekai. And I know there are like three every season. And most of them are going to be trash. And I get that. Because I. The new culture that has surrounded anime now is seasonal anime. And with that seasonal anime comes a bunch of new anime or returning anime. Which is, is a good thing and a bad thing. Bad thing... <sighs> good thing. Animes come out seasons at a time. The good part is they get more better chance at anime quality and animation and all that but sometimes they fail at it <laughs> i'm gonna get into it uh, and isekai has uh fit into this mold really well really well it has fit into this mold really well releasing like a 12 episode and uh isekai for you know for the season rising of the shield here my reincarnating in a life, uh, in another life as a slime. Uh, no game in the life. Well, that's kind of a different story. Uh, Overlord, Konosuba. All of these have seasonal, are seasonal releases and have done well. And also have gotten, except get no game in the life and slime, and Shield Hero. They usually get season twos. They usually get announced season twos. And that's great for the uh, anime now. You are more likely to get a season 2 for an anime now than you were back at any point. Uh, still, season 4, Madhouse, I know you're focused on Attack on Titan. Please, please, give me, give me season 4. At least when I see, at least when Overlord season 4 comes out, I better not see any more disgusting CGI. Please. <laughs> the CGI is not the worst. Thank God Beastars came out that uh, changed the narrative of all uh, C CGI. Also, <laughs> I this this genre has been me to death, and honestly, there are probably there are a ton of isekais out there with the light novel boom. I don't read the uh, manga. Don't at me. Uh, I also watch dub. Dub. Don't at me. I might make a video about it. Never. But the genre, it's been mean to death, even though it, yes, it's oversaturated. I think the reason it's been mean to death is because it's oversaturatedness was so quick because they, um, anime producers saw that this was a gigantic thing and they like pumped out as much as they could and they're still pumping out because People still watch these guys. Why? Because, good or bad, they'll watch it. Because I'm sorry to say, he's he's a guy who's here to stay. Just like any other genre, fantasy. Uh, Mecha's kind of gone downhill in uh, recent years, but I need a good Mecha show. I love Mecha. Um, it's gone down recent years. He's. I still like it. Because I am a connoisseur of trash. Uh, 
this whole quarantine, I've been watching nothing but trash and today, anime besides a few ones I might talk about, and one so bad that I hate it. Probably reviews coming up, and the anime review I promised. It's gonna come, it's just I'm still editing it because of Premiere Pro. Thank you, Premiere Pro. <laughs> besides that, I think the hate or the, you know, big meme about Isekai started with SAO. SAO was the start of that. SAO and Mother's Baby. Because SAO is a mediocre show. Mediocre anime. But it has been mean to death to be the worst thing ever. When in reality, it is a mediocre show. It is a mediocre anime. It is not good. It's not the worst worst. I've seen worse. Everybody has seen worse shows than uh, SAO. SAO is a borderline mediocre anime. It is a gateway into other animes. That is literally it. Okay? Mediocre. Not good. Not the worst. Bad? I'll take it. That's perfectly fine saying that it's but I'm gonna say it's bad. Uh, from Mother's Basement bashing on that, yeah, the whole I hate Kirito and I. He's not a good character, but I'm not gonna. I. <laughs> isekai. Because it was an Isekai anime. Sorry, this trend. And the big boom of that anime launched tons of other Isekai that came out. Uh, also, Devil's a Part Timer, I would love for a season 2. Please? Please, I know it's been like several years, but you see a reboot to Fruits Basket. Please. I need it. Okay. Besides my hopes for other animes to come back, and my refusal to watch the Jericho. Don't at me. I still love you. Uh, he's favorite genres because there are two okay here let's take an example let's take an example as overload let's take away the isekai premise you know the guy getting uh, in the video game world well, technically it's an isekai isekai it's technically he gets trapped in his body but he has his game world has completely changed so yeah doesn't make sense. Let's take away the whole I'm trapped in a skeleton body. I am all the and just take it as the plot. It is a demon. We are following in a demon lord taking over the world. That is the plot. And as simple as it sounds, it's great. I love it. Uh, over still overlord still great. Season three did have some off CGI, but the whole thing had off CGI. So. I might talk about Overload soon, I might talk about it. I'm, I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm getting to it. Let's take. Uh, not Rising Up. Slime Boy. Slime is a is a extremely powerful slime, which, yes, is a common uh, anime trope. You know, the overpowered main character. And that Isekai has fallen into that because Isekai is the easiest for. Self, you know, the viewer can put themselves into uh, the character. You know, they can. It's like a escapism. Escapism. That's what it is. Uh, they live through the character. You know, a better life for them. So you know, you have this average, shy, uh, otaku loving. Uh, nerd that's socially inept and you know gets transferred to another world and uh, becomes you know a harem protagonist charismatic good with all the ladies <laughs> bitch that's totally how it works guys into a power fantasy where he is the most powerful character in the show that is 
why is guy work so is so oversaturated and is so work so well because it's escapes it escapism as fine isekai does not have to be escapism digimon is an isekai one of the best ones obviously but the whole premise is they are trapped in the digital digimon world and are trying to escape and get to their world that was the whole plot of isekai trapped in another world trying to get back to your world isekai now is just you get transferred to another world you don't care about your family and friends or you die or something like that or reincarnated in your life. Holy crap! I remember everything from a past life! And... <sighs> I... am so overpowered! But I eat it up! Because I'm used to guy trash and I love it. And honestly... Isekai does not... deserve all the hate it gets. But it's warranted. Like, yeah, I know I don't admit a whole... I'm making this whole video about it. It's warranted, it's oversaturated the market. But like go watch JoJo if you want <laughs> good anime. Uh honestly, okay, I'm not gonna talk about that. This video is already too long, okay? More of the story. Isekai can still be good, even to this day. And I just wanted to talk about anime. Thank you guys for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> See you guys next time.